As someone who has battled with depression and ideologies and beliefs that I wasn't good enough, 2022 was the year that I said, you know what, I'm done, I'm done. Um, so I wanna talk to you about how I was able to accomplish everything that I wanted to accomplish, everything that I wanted. I said I wanted to lose weight, I wanted to go from 100 and almost 90 pounds to 155, I did that, that took consistency and hard work. I wanted to move into my dream apartment, which I'm in right now, I'll insert a clip. I also wanted to have my dream car, which I have now, I'll be sure to insert a clip. All of these things happen with dedication, loyalty to myself, my belief system, my faith, and I treated everything that I did like a full-time job. Here are the steps and here is what I did to get myself to where I am right now in life. If you have not been here before, my name is Janelle Roberts. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so we are now officially in 2023 and I just wanted to talk about and show visually how I was able to pray and manifest everything that I wanted in 2022 to now. Um, first and foremost, before we even get into this whole manifestation thing, I just want to go on to say that a lot of like myself and my centeredness is rooted in like my faith and belief in God. So I kind of, not even kind of, God is like my is is my mentor through my process i go to god about the things that are on my heart i go to god about the things that i'm sad about i go to god about my wants my desires and needs and before i even start doing this i check in with god first to just make sure that's it um just to give you like an idea of how 2022 started for me it was honestly rough because at the beginning of the year i felt like i was trying to do what everyone else was doing like everyone was getting into real estate um everyone was doing this everyone was doing that and then i kept saying to myself i want to do influencing i want to publish books i want to do this i want to have a brand for myself but i kept having this belief system that i wasn't good enough so before you start doing anything you need to make sure that your belief system is rooted within yourself and if you can't figure it out what it is that you want to do, this is how you know. Think of that one thing that you can do for free for the rest of your life. That is the thing that we're going to focus on in 2023. That is the thing that we're going to prioritize. Those are the steps that are going to need to happen. Those are the things that are going to need to happen. In regards to uh, just like myself, my podcast, I posted a couple of TikToks that have literally went viral because of this. I have my podcast where I talk about step by step of how to manifest and how to achieve your goals, but we can manifest all day. We can make the best vision boards in the world all day, but if we are not working and treating those dreams like a full-time jobs, they will not happen. Some of us like want like this, this change life and this change thing and this new beginning and this new way of doing things, but we don't want to put in the effort and work that it takes to get there and you have to put in the effort and work it takes to get there there is no cheat code there is no let me jump over this hurdle let me do this that people have to work when i think of anyone in this world like yeah we can we can fester through all the nepotism babies and all the different stuff but at some point to some extent there's going to require some work and a lot of humbling um you have to be prepared to be humbled throughout this experience you have to be prepared to experience no's and not take no's as like a like a no, you're not good enough, or no, you can't. Sometimes no just means no right now. And if you're not failing at something, then you're not doing it. You have to fail t from time to time. Failure is a result. Failure is a, I can't even like describe it. Like I used to get so upset about failing at things. And now that I'm getting older, I'm not. Like I'm understanding that failure is a part of the process failure is 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 in sometimes oftentimes like not an answer but it's just a rough draft of where i'm trying to get to and you have to be okay with failing because failing is the result of you actually working towards it and at some point you will not be failing but as life continues to go on and on and has all this roller coasters and up and down you have to be prepared for anything that's thrown your way so you need to prioritize your faith and your belief system and you need to prioritize your mental health at the top of this list if you need to heal your inner child you need to be focusing on that if you have some depression you need to work through you need to focus on that prioritizing your mental health is something that is so viable something that is so important 
The first thing that I do before anything, before the new year, before all of it, is I write a letter to myself. I write a letter to myself from last year. So we're moving into 2023. So I tend to title this letter year 2022. I write everything that has happened, not everything in fully, but just things that, that, are, that have either triggered me, things that have grounded me, things that have humbled me, things that have made me happy. I write down my accomplishments, I write down my wants, and I write down my needs. And then I just read it, fold that letter up, I highly recommend doing this, and then I just put it away, I put it away. And then towards the end of 2023, I go back and I read that letter and see if anything's changing. It's a great way to be self-reflective. Um, throughout this process, you have to be incredibly self-reflective over, over yourself and you have to have a sense of awareness of thinking in different ways. You have to be logical and you have to know how to police your thoughts. Policing your thoughts in those moments where you feel like you aren't doing enough is going to be such a key component. Now, let's really get into the entire gist of the video. I wanted to talk to you about how I separate my life into four seasons. I'll be sure to like insert like a clip so you can see it. So what I do is when it comes down to my vision board and what I want and what, I, what I'm desiring to have, sometimes at the top of my list will be my faith in God, working out, getting in shape, starting with those smaller goals. Like I know if I wanna influence, I should probably start somewhere that's achievable. I'm not gonna write at the top of my list, I wanna to get to a million and one followers if I have only a thousand. I can say I wanna to try to get to 4K during this time period. That way I can focus on these achievable goals. I think sometimes when we write goals that are just so massive and so big and so large and we don't achieve them, we honestly kind of just spiral back into that belief system that I'm not good enough, I'm not doing enough. And that isn't true at all. You have to focus on those goals that you can achieve right now in your situation. You might want to move to a different city, but does your bank account reflect moving to a different city? Maybe we can set goals for moving to that different city. Maybe we can take on another job or maybe we can save up better. Those are the type of things. So from January, February, March, April, my life is just focused on the first four months of the year. In those four months of the year, like I said, I work on those smaller goals. I won't tell you exactly what my goals are because I think you should be very um, low key about um, your goals and your wants and, and your aspirations and what you want because you have to protect your energy throughout this process of finding yourself and throughout this process of learning and getting to a point of having an understanding of what you want in this life you have to be very protective over your energy you really do because the more that you continue to succeed and the more that this success is linear you're going to notice a huge shift around you with people those type of things you're going to be attracting a lot of different things when you are an energy being who is magnetic you attract a lot of different things bad things as well as along with the good ones so you have to be very protective of your energy as you focus on these these first four months like i said prioritize the goals that you can achieve once i sit there and separate and focus on those first four months instead of making this grand ojet odess probably wrong choice this grand vision board that is probably going to overwhelm me and swarm me out I'm, i then move on to going onto my Pinterest where I create a smaller vision board for those first four months of the year. I'm gonna show you how I do that. I like to go on Pinterest. I pick and choose what I wanna focus on. And I'm just gonna show you like a random assortment of some of the things. Like I said, I'm very protective of what I share. Um, but for instance, if I want to step into the woman that I wanna be fashionably, I'm going to find the things that I already have in my closet that I can already elevate. And I'm going to use Pinterest to create those looks. If I want to read more, I'm going to add books to it. If I want to go to the gym four times a week, I'm going to add that. If I want to lose weight, I'm going to add that. If I also want to post a content or start a YouTube and post a video every single um, week, I'm going to add that to the vision board. These are very achievable things. You have to start with the groundwork first before moving on to those bigger goals, 
those bigger aspirations and you also have to learn to be proud of the groundwork to know that the groundwork is beautiful to know that the process is beautiful to know that where i'm leading up to and where i'm going is beautiful be thankful for the groundwork because if you didn't have all of these these weird things that happened in life if you didn't have all of these issues and these highs and lows and these ups and downs when will we ever fully appreciate where we are today appreciate being appreciative and gratuity is honestly it's unmatched it's untouched because i feel like whenever you take the time to be thankful and grateful you're actually pouring more back into yourself once i set up my entire visual board i then um continue to um set it to the side behind those four months i forgot to mention that i like to use good notes good notes this is not sponsored i really like using good notes and i love using canva then once i start a After I've made my four month visual board, splitting up into the different seasons, I then get me a nice little mason jar and I'm gonna use the one that I used from 2022. And I just write down all of the things that I had accomplished in the new year. The beginning of the year, this is from last year, I was nearly 187 pounds. I was, I was to me personally, I was overweight. Um, I had a hip replacement. I was having a lot of issues with mobility, um, I was bloated all the time. I was completely unhappy. I'll insert a clip here. Um, I went from this and then I went from that. Um, so I put that in there, I lost the weight. Then I talked about how I wanted to work with brand deals. I'm gonna insert a clip here. Um, I wanted to work with all types of brand deals. I got to work with Lancome, I got to work with L'Oreal, I got to work with Skims. Mind you, at the start of the year, I only had 1600 followers on instagram i didn't have any other followers on any other platforms i started tiktok um november actually i started tiktok november 21st of 2021 only posted one video and then i started back up again in this in january of 2022 um so i'm going to show you real progression i added on my vision board from last year that i wanted to move into my dream penthouse apartment and i was able to do that i added on my vision board that i wanted to have my dream car and i was able to do that these are the steps that have kept me grounded. These are the key components that have helped me get to Also, there is so much more on my podcast where I go super in depth about all of these things, about all of these things to accomplish, how to accomplish them. But there is nothing that's going to be unmatched like consistency and just being true to yourself. A couple of things that I think will help keep you mentally grounded is reading. I'll be sure to insert some books. 13 Things Mentally Strong People Don't Do is a great one. And also focusing on your inner child, like I've said before earlier in this video. You want to prioritize all of these elements in your life to achieve these goals. Start with that four-month goal first before moving on to the entire year, the whole entire year of 2023, because you're going to overwhelm yourself. At least for me, I overwhelm myself. Split your life up into seasons and see how that magic works. See how it moves. Write that 2022 letter to yourself today. It's not too late. And then tuck it away and reread it again at the end of 2023. Get you a nice little mason jar. Get you a good notes and sort out those plans. Use Pinterest. Use whatever you need to to get to where you want to get to in life. Hopefully this video was just super helpful and gave you some type of understanding of how you can achieve those goals in 2023. These are real results. I also want to highlight that I'm not a nepotism baby. I don't come from generational wealth. Um, my family is not well off. I'm just a regular degular schmegular girl trying to help people achieve their goals by being real and authentic and true to myself. I also do want to mention the fact that like I do have a partner that also contributes to, to my life too. So that also makes it easier for us to have this as well. So just keep in mind that anything that you want in this life is very, very much achievable. Thank you so much for tuning in to the To All The People. What am I saying? Thank you so much for listening to my video and good luck on 2023. Rock these goals, kill them, you got them. I'm so excited, I'm so happy for you. Manifestation is key, but prayer works and God and your belief system really does matter. Remember, none of these goals are achievable if you're not working towards them every single day. Do not stop, keep going, keep grind, and remember to take that time out to rest. Thank you so much for listening and tuning in. Y'all have a happy, happy year. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.